I received a lot of interest on the pennies that I make that I'm taking impression dies like this fella I'm gonna show you here this one is an iris um, this die was pre 1900s from what I understand um, the last time it was pressed before I got it this year was around 1905 um, so yeah, it's a it's a big solid chunk of uh, steel, and I will throw him in my press. And what I'm going to do is take my penny, my annealed penny, this little guy, hi. Throw him in the press on top of the die, and then what I'm going to do is take some urethane and I will put the urethane right on top of him and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive the press up and I'm going to press that urethane down into the annealed penny which is going to compress and the compression of the urethane is going to drive the annealed penny solid copper into the die creating the impression so i'm probably going to do this process two maybe three times annealing in between and uh then we'll got the got the sorry i can't talk today then we'll have a uh, a penny then in the shape of an iris and this works pretty much equally for any of the impression dies that you can find um potter usa has a amazing variety of everything that you could conceivably think of when it comes to designs so check them out um and then you can you can find them all over you can find them on ebay you can find them on the internet i have a bunch of them that were made in india that are made of bronze uh, those work those work well you have to be careful with them because bronze is softer than steel but uh, you can find them all over so this press is mechanical so it's not hydraulic. It's a little bit louder than most. Um, you're going to hear me kind of ratcheting it up in the up position, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to zoom in on what's happening. Focus. Nope. Focus here. There we go. All right. So I'm going to raise it up. I'm going to readjust so we're in the center. Everything needs to be centered. And then I'm going to drive that down. So now we're compressed. And we will go ahead and drive it back down. Okay, that's the first pressing. So we'll take zoom out and we'll take our penny pop him out and that's our first so I will anneal off camera make it nice and red and then come back and then realign this penny in that die and then do another pressing um, what you can do is rotate it around a couple times and press rotate around a couple times and press um, just to show that, I may do that. I'm going to realign this penny in the die so that it indexes. There we go. We're indexed. Throw the urethane back on top. Throw the die back in. And see, I have aligned it differently. We had our numbers forward. I'm going to align it to the side and then push my urethane around a little bit. We'll do a couple. Around, rotate. Dropped some pennies. And there we go. So we should have a little better impression. We're gonna get our final once we uh, once we anneal it one more time. But 
that's kind of what we got starting. So I'll anneal off camera and we'll go. Re-index the penny in the die and then stuck a new piece of urethane on top of that. And we're gonna do the same thing we did before. I'll probably do this three or four pressings uh, under pressure and then we will uh, pull it out and see what we got. just for fun. There you go. Doesn't look like it's necessarily going to need another pressing. See the back of it? There's Mr. Lincoln. There you go. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.